Hi everyone, Lady Botcher Angela here with a little tutorial on some fairy wings. Um, just stay tuned. So first off, the supplies you'll need are some matte sealant, some acrylic paints, uh, two pieces of scrap cloth or white cloth, and a stock board, some glue, scissors, brushes. Um, you could also use some cereal box cardboard as well. Um, so here we go. So I have two pieces of cloth and it's just a, some cotton, some broke, uh, not brocade, but some cloth and some cardstock. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue stick, I'm going to glue both pieces on. I'm going to glue one on one side and make sure all the bubbles are gone. Make sure it's glued down really well. You can also take tacky glue as well. Um, I would suggest doing tacky glue uh, more so than the glue stick just because the glue stick for me um, it worked but it could have been better so um, again this is just cardstock this is not regular printer paper this is a bit heftier than that you can also use a cereal box as well um, the cereal box might be a little better to hold up to all the paint that you'll be using if you use paint um, again, you can just use a print of cotton as well, and then you don't have to paint, um, so that might be an option as well. So, again, I'm just gluing the sides together with the poster board in the middle. And see, there we go, we have one side, and now I'm going to do the other. So now we have both sides and the poster board in the middle, um, as you can see there. Um, there's still some glue that's that's drying and I'm okay with that so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my stencils that I've already made um, of my wings and I'm going to take a pencil and just kind of sketch it out and yeah so we have the sketch and I'm going to cut it out so now we have our pieces here and we are I've already stenciled on uh, my design um, based on my uh, sketch there so now we're going to just paint it up however you like I'm doing um, more of a realistic um, version based on the Luna moth and I thought it was so beautiful so I'm just taking some paint and again this is just acrylic paint and yeah it does go on um, almost really dry like I don't want it I didn't want to wet it down too much because of the cardstock in between so I just kind of lathered it with the paint and um, I'm trying to work quickly because I want to make sure that everything is kind of blended and has a gradient that's pretty smooth so I'm just again just taking how what I want from uh, my sketch and the idea of um, the Luna Moth and I do have a reference picture that I am referencing off camera um, I just googled a picture and that's what I'm referencing for for color scheme so yes this will cover your sketch that you sketched with the pencil but you'll be able to see if it's not too dark of a color um, through the the paint so you'll be able to to follow the lines a little bit later uh, in the project so I'm just getting the base layer down here with my gradient and I'll do this on both sides and for both wings so the top wing and the bottom wing on both sides so you'll have four sides to paint and yes the the fabric does fray a little bit on the edges and that's why I suggest doing tacky glue and not actual glue stick um, because I had to go back in and actually uh, clean up the edges a little bit later so and again I'm just going over the paint um, gradient the way I want I wanted it a little bit lighter in the middle and then a bit darker on the top um, and of course the top I'm going to cover later in brown so um, I think it turned out okay. I, I like this version as well as the vinyl version that I did as well. Um, and that's also on my channel if you'd like to go back and see that. It's a quick tutorial. 
Um, this version, you don't have to have very many materials. I didn't go out and buy anything new for this. I did use magnets. You can use wire. You can use whatever you have on hand. Um, I did have the cloth on hand. I did have the cardstock, the paint, you know, all the utensils, um, and the glue, the tacky glue and the, the glue stick. Every, everything was, I already had. So, um, most of the stuff you can find like at the dollar store. <laughs> so, Again, I'm going to do it to both of those. And here we are. I have both sides done the way I like. And as you can see, the lines of my sketch are still in there and that I can follow them pretty easily. So all I did was take a micron pen. You can also use a Sharpie. And I thought my micron pen was uh, black, but it's blue. But I don't hate it. So I'm, I, I'm glad I went with it. So that's how it's going to end up. And now I'm just going to put on the final touches um, after um, putting the glue and gluing them together. And this is actually how it turned out. So this is from my reference picture from the Luna Moth. And I did put the little dots of white. That was just my own personal thing that I <laughs> wanted. So I do have the um, magnets gluing on there. Um, I just kept the other one on there just so I could find it later. <laughs> So again, I did this to both sides. Here's the comparison to the vinyl uh, wings that I did in my other video. So again, the vinyl is going to be a little floppy. This one's a bit more rigid and I did not seal this one just because the fabric took the paint so well. I didn't think that I needed to um, seal it in. So. Yeah, you can see I'm doing kind of a flop test, <laughs> a little flappy test here. And it does have some movement, but it's not much like the vinyl. The vinyl is a bit thinner and it does move. And you can see that um, with the flapping motion. And you can actually bend the post card, the cardstock, and it will keep it shape. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!